All right, tubers, Madame Roy back once again, and mom. Wow. She uh, has been, been dying to do this recipe, so I said, let's go ahead and do a live stream tonight. So this is going to take a little while, but I'm going to bring it over to mom, let her talk, and uh, we'll see what happens. We're going to try it. I love flan. We have it a lot of times. We got to the Mexican restaurants, and I pulled a recipe from the internet. And uh, I said, well, let me give it a try. So this is a, this is a try. I never made it before, so we'll see how it goes. So it says the first thing you do is you have to preheat the oven at 300. So, 300, yeah, not 350. Okay, and it says make sure it's the middle rack. Right? It's the middle, right? Yeah, yeah I would don't say that's right the middle stuff. rack. <laughs> which we actually just, just recently cleaned. So it says stir together sugar and a quarter cup of water in a small heavy saucepan. This is how you make the caramel. So it is... Let's see, a quarter cup of water. Yeah, I usually like to get the filter. Here, why don't you either that or use my Brita pitcher. Yeah, is quarter isn't much, believe me. That's a quarter, see? Yeah, here, show right. them a little bit. It's hard to see. Yeah, it's hard. Quarter. Right down there. I usually put it down because you're shaking it and you're never sure. I make sure that... It's she wants to, to make sure it's just right, especially when yeah, trying a new recipe. recipe for sure. All right, so it says stir together sugar and a cup of water in a small, heavy saucepan until it's completely moistened. So now I have to get three quarter, no, a quarter, look there, quarter cup of water and what was how much sugar? Let's see. Two thirds sure. cup. Stir together sugar and quarter. So two thirds a cup. Oh, oh sugar. Right. You can I tell. like this one because it's two thirds. It's right there. I know you can tell we're really prepared, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, tried every, I tried to get everything out for you guys. Uh, let's see. And this is just regular granulated uh, sugar, yes. nothing special. This is how you caramelize it is by heating it up. It's weird. You're not supposed to stir it. I read it ahead of time. Okay. You have to swish it around in the pan. And never scrape it out because I guess it's going to stick to everything. So here is, I'm sorry, my hands are clean, so don't worry. I washed them before I started. Here we go. You step up. <laughs> She's trying. Yeah. She's trying to get it precise because, again, with a new recipe, yes. we want to make sure everything is just right. Exactly. So you have to put that together and make sure you completely moisten it. Let me get a, a whisk here. Says, get it so it's wet till completely moistened. Are you gonna boil over a medium high heat and cook without stirring until the mixture begins to turn golden? Gently swirling the pan to continue cooking until the sugar is like a honey color. Then you gotta remove it from the heat and swirl the pan until the sugar is a reddish amber and fragrant. <laughs> I can't imagine that. Well, we're going to give it a try. And then you got to add two tablespoons of warm tap water. So here it goes. Never tried this. Never made this before. I love watching the... the you think that's medium high? It's about medium high. Yeah. I love a little watching, lower. A little lower. I love watching the um, kids' no, baking higher. shows. The... the uh, there you go. British that's baking perfect. shows. And they all know what they're doing. I love watching them. Oh, my gosh. They're incredible. I don't know how these kids do it. They're like... Uh, Savants. Yes, they're so good. They do. Oh, I love that. I learned all about pat which is the, like the cream puff pastries. And, you know, I've never tried it, but I still would like to try that kind of thing. So I'm going to have to wait a little bit until this starts bubbling. And then I'm going to start swirling it. I'm going to bring my recipe over here. Because uh, okay. I forget sometimes I have to keep reading it. And we're supposed to maybe be taking a class. I don't know about this year. But in, in cake decorating, you were going to do it with I a want, friend of yours. I want to learn how to uh, do icing and make, you know, little flowers and do decorative icing and stuff. And especially Work with like the fondant. Time. I don't know about fondant, but especially like royal icing is what you do on the cookies. Like when, when we do it with my sister, and yeah. I think they've seen some of that when we did them. Oh, yeah, they've seen them. The she did it with regular icing, but there's a royal icing that's like hardens. So you, mm. it's, more, it's easily more manipulated and... Nice. So we'll see. Uh, stirring up a little. Uh, everybody's saying hello, George Blakely, hello. Ruben. Doesn't that look good? Actually, not yet, but it will. Wait till that starts says, turning golden. I, without brown. stirring until the mixture turns to golden, then gently swirl in the pan. Can you cook until it's honey colored? 
Remove from the heat and swirl the pan until the sugar is reddish amber. And I can actually start smelling. I can smell yeah, it right that's now. That's what they're it's saying. It's going to be cook. fragrant. It's already fragrant, believe me. I've never done And it says that you, you got to put water in and boil the, the pan afterwards to clean it. Oh, yeah, I can imagine. I was about to say, yeah, that's not going to be, be fun. Wait till imagine. you guys see what that's going to look like. Oh, my goodness. Uh, turn you guys around for a minute. Is there, what What do we got to do next? We just I got to wait till it, I got to heat and cook it without stirring until the mixture begins to turn golden. And then I got to swirl the pan and cook it until the sugar is honey colored. Ooh, okay. So when it gets golden, that's funny, golden, I guess golden. What's the difference between golden and honey color? I'm not sure, but we'll I find out. I don't either, I don't know. Oh, look, look, look. It's starting to it's boil. It's starting to boil there, you can see well, you it. you tell me when it starts getting golden, because I don't really know. Well, it, it's actually getting there. It's not really showing in the uh, camera very much, but man, I could see it with my naked eye. Yeah, but it's still not golden, it's just kind of... Uh, Could no. be the light. <laughs> lazy, be the, light. Uh, the lazy fish keeper says so. No one has made this. No, we no, haven't never yet. made it. I've eaten it in a lot of um, Mexican restaurants, though it's not a Mexican dish, correct? It it is. is. It, it, is, is it, for, it is from Mexico. I, I think it's originally well Spanish. I think Spanish. it's Mexico. Okay, I think it's Mexico. Hence, why you probably find it in a lot of Mexican restaurants. Yes. I'm trying to see what this says here. Hey, Ruben says, we Mexicans know about flan. Yeah. All right, Ruben, let us know if we're doing something wrong oh, here. Oh, yeah. Please. Well, I was in Mexico. We had flan down. Oh, we had flan. Mm -hmm. And the guy, and he was Mexican, he actually said flan. And I'm like, flan? That's only if he's from New York. I said, that was weird. And then my, oh. when I was up here, oh, about a week ago, I went to a Mexican restaurant with a friend of mine. And I asked the, guy, uh, the gentleman who's Mexican. He said, oh, it's flan. I said, well, that's what I always said. <laughs> Someone said that you didn't wash your hands. <laughs> I did. I washed them before I started. That's Yeah, she did. I, 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 I can vouch it. for that. Uh, when, when I separate the eggs, I'll wash them again, believe me. Because I have an egg separator, but I prefer to do it through my fingers. Because you have to... Uh, you have to, I think it's five egg yolks and two eggs, so. It's easy to I have an egg separator. It. This is what it looks like, but I never had too much luck with it. I'm going to give it a try again and see. I do the one through my fingers. That is really That's the strange. one I like. Oh, here we go. I don't see it turning honey yet. I don't see a color yet. Not yet. Oh, man, that's so satisfying. I could fall asleep right now. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah, right, right. That's all you need to oh, do. Oh no! I don't oh, want to no. put my finger on that. That's like third degree burn city. Dahlia, just get out. Hey, I don't feel like taking it to the hospital, so oh, stop. Oh, oh, oh! I see it turning color. Not yet. It's starting to right on the I bottom. I think it's the light. I think Woo. it's the light. Let's see. How about we turn the light on? Okay, yeah, that works Now a it's more better. clear. I think the light was making it yellow. Maybe not quite. What does it look like down there? Yeah, that's... Let's see. What number are we on? We're on Regulo 3, as they would say in England. Does it go up to 6? Yep. So we're right in the middle there. Mm -hmm. When you cook this kind of stuff, really when you cook anything, you do have to have some patience. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, that is so satisfying. See, who's here? I didn't even look to see who's here. The Lazy Fish Keeper, Ruben, John Doe. John Doe wants me to add an extra cup of sugar. Ah, I, he's like me. I like sweet things, too. Yeah. And the funny thing is, I read the recipe. There is no sugar in the actual uh, custard part, but you use sweetened condensed milk, and I guess that's what makes it you know, sweet. Oh, okay. Because when I kept looking at it, I kept saying, sugar? This is the only way you do sugar? I'm thinking, what's going on? That's right, because you're getting a lot of sweetness from that. You, from yeah, but you're also going to get it. Yeah, sweetened condensed milk is very sweet. So, okay. Let me see. This is taking a while. I have no idea how long this was going to take. Yeah, I don't know. Like I said, this is an experiment. I don't know how long this live stream is actually going to be, but well, we're. It's not yet. I'm, I'm committed at this point. I see a little bit of color change right down there. Ooh, ooh, oh, ooh, ooh. Oh, oh get oh, out of here. Oh, oh, he's full of it. <laughs> Scaring everybody here. Ruben's asking me about thumbnails. I haven't had any problems with them recently, but honestly, I've been doing a lot of live streams, so it wouldn't surprise me if the, that system's down at the moment. Oh, I had no I idea just, it was going to take. I didn't know it was going to take that long. All right, so while that's cooking, let me show you some of the ingredients. Uh, this is 
the sweetened condensed milk. And yes, Food Line brand is fine. That's just one of the stores that's near our house. Because we're in the southeast, there's a lot of Food Lines around here. And as you can see, there is quite a bit of sugar in sweetened condensed milk. For two tablespoons, it's got 22 grams oh, of yeah. sugar. Oh, yeah, I guess that's where the sweetness comes from. Yeah, and you can see the two ingredients in here are milk and sugar. And when we open this, you'll be able to see how um, thick this is. This is kind of thicky, thick and soupy. It almost reminds me of what almond milk looks like. Oh, maybe. But it doesn't taste like almond no. milk. Let's see what we got going on here. We got seven watchers and four likes. I want to thank everybody for attending this live stream. Uh, I did want to tell them that this was your idea. You came up with the idea of doing the live stream for this, and I, I actually went along with it because I wasn't sure if it was going to work out or not, but, I mean, this is really interesting. Well, actually, I should say you had the idea for the video. I'm right. the one that had the idea for the, the live stream. stream. Exactly. That's right. Exactly. Josh Kinder says, hi, Ruben. Okay, I, I'm waiting for this to turn honey color. I don't see it yet. Need to more steps to your 10,000 daily. I actually I actually walk 20 to 25,000. What are you at right now? I'm at now? Uh, 9,700. Uh, I can't check mine because I'm using the phone at the moment, <laughs> but I know I'm well over 20,000. Um, well, that's waiting. Uh, there was something I wanted to show you guys. Give you guys a minute. So you guys can look at my face for a minute. Oh, hang on. <sighs> Dirty lens. There we go. So if you have any specific questions for me, don't have to be food related. Um, you guys can go ahead and ask them right now. Uh, and I'll go be get back to mom when we're ready for the next step or step two, if you will. Ruben asks, do 30,000 steps a day? I try to, but right now I'm doing a lot of bike riding and walking. So when you combine the two, it's really hard to get 30,000 steps and an eight-mile bike ride in. So on the days that I don't bike ride, I think 30,000 steps is most definitely doable. Lazy Fish Keeper asks, Matt, who does your hair? I usually go to a place called Great Clips when I'm here. Every once in a while, I'll get my hair done at Doris's Barber Shop up, at, up in Green, New York, near where my uncle lives. But it is actually due right now because it looks like a rag. And I'm, I'm telling you, my hair grows like crazy. What? No, you look like you want to say no, something. No, no, I'm just Mom's looking at me yeah, like. I'm still waiting. What? What are you talking about? I feel like getting online to see how long it's supposed to take. I think it's starting to turn brown around the edges. I think I see oh, I gotta rest. I gotta rest my uh, arm real quick. Holding this phone is not easy. No, awesome. Stephen Barber's getting a MacBook Pro Ooh. bidding on oh, eBay. Yeah, I'm to see how long it's and MacBook Pro. Well, I'm gonna show you guys something real quick. Let me turn you around and show and we'll check on this uh, Sugar, see how this is going. Yeah, oh yeah, most definitely. Look at the edges, guys. I know. I'm gonna wait. I want to see. You how can long see. It you can see that the edges are starting to caramelize. So basically, again, this is just water and sugar, and yeah, it's still about medium heat. What are you gonna check? See how long it should take. Don't burn it. Yeah, we're I gonna know, try I'm gonna not let you to. Keep an eye on it for a okay, I gotta keep an eye on it. Do I need to stir it? No, you're not supposed to. Not supposed to stir it. Okay. Mom, actually, did you buy this loaf pan or did we... I had it. I didn't know it. It said it okay. showed the metal one. I had glass ones, but I wasn't sure. Do you know where this came from? Yeah. One of our neighbors moved out, and they oh, gave me a whole bunch right? of stuff, but this wasn't it. Oh, oh I, okay. Uh, oh, turn. here we go. Look, look, here we look. go. It's starting to turn. Oh, that's gorgeous. So look, a, brown, a, yellow. about 10 minutes? I would say. It says, okay... Bring to boil, high medium heat, cook without stirring until the mixture begins to turn golden. It right, is. Now yeah. I don't want it to. Now I'm supposed to swirl it till it turns reddish and remove from the heat. Okay. Can you turn the heat off for me? So we're going to turn this turn off. Turn that off. And, and it says till it becomes a reddish color. Would you say that's reddish? I would say that is reddish. All right. Yes. And then it says be careful, but add two tablespoons of warm water, which don't get close. I don't want it to spit out. All right, oh, let me make oh, sure oh. I said two tables. Okay. Hold on. Where's my recipe? <laughs> we scramble around yeah, the kitchen a lot. Yep. Yep, that's so Okay, ready. I 
said it was going to do that, so. Woo-hoo! Oh, get some, get some. There we go. Okay, I need the, I need okay. that. I okay. need the pan. All right, so we got the pan. So the next step. Put it in the pan. Oh, man, does that look good. And it said not to, I hate wasting all that. I'd like more. Not supposed to scoop it? No, it said not to, but I think I will. <laughs> I don't want to waste yeah, that. Here. No, I don't want that. It's too hot. I need a spoon, something spoon? metal. Uh, hang on. I think I got something here. Just a regular knife? Or a knife. Yeah. I think a knife will work best. I don't want to waste all that. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not wasting that. I mean, that looks heavenly. That looks like caramel like you get at a fancy restaurant or from Canada, remember? Mm -hmm. And it says what's going to happen is it's going to get, uh, it's going to uh, solidify. It's going to get, I think I should have more in there, but that's all. <laughs> you just got to cover the bottom. Yeah, there. yeah. Okay. I think that uh, it says it probably will get hard, but once it cooks in the oven, it'll soften up again. All right. I got to swatch out. I'm just going to put some hot water. And that's pretty much what it looks like. It's just to cover yeah. the bottom of the loaf pan. Man, I tell you honestly, I, t I would make another batch and put a double batch in because I like that. But I don't want to wait that long this time, so we'll, no. we'll, do, it, we'll do it the next time. Yeah, we, we're going to try it first. We want to make sure it's we'll it's actually it going to taste good. All right, so here's how we put this together. Let's see. I don't know if I need this big bowl because I have to strain it. Okay, hold on. Let me just wash my hands again. <laughs> again, you can tell how prepared we are. I mean, uh, it's it, it's well, Easter we're not famine. Well, we're doing cooking videos all the time either. That's true. That's true. So, oh, I might do that. I might do my that. hand all is right, like so numb. What we need to do is we did we poured it in the loaf pan, didn't that scrape sauce pan? Okay, with the eggs and the yolks. So we need how many eggs? Two two large eggs and five yolks. That's so seven. Okay. So two large eggs and five I'm yolks. Gonna put, I'm gonna put that. I'll put the large ones in here. All right. I'm gonna get a close up here. Now, see, if I was doing this, there would be shells in <laughs> everything. I kid you not. Two large eggs. Okay. And now I need five yolks. Now this is the one I was gonna show. You. Yeah, okay. I don't know if I need to put it. I'm only going to put it in something separate until I put it in there. So we're going to try this, the egg separator. I'm going to try it. I've tried let's it before, and I haven't happens. been that crazy about it. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, it works pretty good. Okay. That's, I would say. Now we're going to count. One yolk. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, it works pretty good. I usually just do it through my fingers. It usually works well. Now you can see the problem. Yeah, I know. You now really you have some yolks that like to congeal like that. And that's where you get the knife to kind of cut it a little bit. Yeah, it's just, yeah. Some of them are good and some of them aren't. There. So two. Oh, don't worry about this. I don't remember. I might need another egg. One, two, three. So you got four, and then you need five yolks. I need two regulars and five yolks. So I think I need another egg. I think I miscalculated. Right? Two eggs yeah. and and five yolks. And five yolks. So I'd be so, seven eggs. Yeah, and this is six. Do we have an extra one? Oh yeah. yeah. Let me see. Let me grab it. Don't it, please excuse our messy uh, refrigerator right now. I got to rearrange things. It is a mess. Again, food lion eggs work just fine. Every yeah. once in a while, I'll get a brown egg. Here, I'll just stick it right in there for yeah. you. And you can keep an eye on Mom while I put the eggs yeah. back. What in the world was that? <laughs> the light flickered. Oh, maybe the... I think Dad's air compressor came on. Oh, it might have been. Oh, doesn't go. that look just lovely? Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like that white stuff. Ugh. The membrane. Yeah. Sometimes you get a little membrane on yeah, there. The, you can see it. Like that white. little white there. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about it now because it's too hard to get out. Oh, My wow. friend is, is nuts about it. And she, 
She's got me taking that all off. Believe me, it won't it won't hurt you. Yeah, once it's good. when it's once real it's, big like that, it bothers me. So I was like, okay. Oh, she can get it now. But once yeah. it's mixed in there, you'll never it. see it. But that's how she does it. She goes like that. And takes them off. There that one go. was pretty big. So this is garbage. This we could just throw out. Uh, unless I don't like egg whites personally. I don't think I there's don't enough like in there white, anyway. Uh, sandwiches or I'm not into the egg white stuff. I do occasionally. Oh yeah. If you guys have never seen that, that's where our garbage is. It's actually oh, no. in there. Look, look. Some of the eggs, some of the yolks coming out. Uh oh, -uh, we're losing yeah, a little, little yolk little there. Yolk. Well, that's okay. That's all right. That's okay. It's hard. The yeah. yolk broke is what it happened. It actually did, but I think it'll be fine. Right. I mean it's, it's not much. It's not much. All right. It, again, see. you can't always be perfect. And I know somebody's gonna say, No, Matt, don't throw away that egg whites, <laughs> guys. They're Believe gone. me, they're gone. They're, they're gone. gone. They're gone. They're I'm gone. Sorry. They've gone down the disposal. Yep. Don't, don't use See, egg all whites. gone. All gone. You know what it could have made is meringue, like a meringue. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Jimmy, for that uh, 70, well, $1.10 New Zealand <laughs> super chat. Add some right. chocolate to those whipped egg whites. Oh, yeah. I don't think we actually have I any, don't do know. we? Well, I have some. Um, Hershey. Yeah, the Hershey's. Okay, let's go on to this. I did the part. Okay, whisk the eggs and the yolks in a large bowl and some combined. Yes. Okay, which will be here. Yep, and believe it or not, we actually have a special whisk function yeah, on here. Yeah, I could here. use this, but I said I have a whisk function on here, so I might as well do that. And that. Make it easy. Yep, a little easier on the hands. Mr. Jimmy said, damn, it's making me hungry. <laughs> hey, can't eat it till tomorrow. You have to refrigerate overnight. Yeah, isn't that a bummer? All right, so. To combine, add sweetened condensed milk, evaporated milk, and whole milk. So let's do the... Sweetened condensed uh, milk. 14 ounces of the sweetened condensed. And I, I already rinsed the top. Do you not want to use this? Enough. For that one, I will. For that one, okay, because yeah. that's too thick. Right. Mom's just, and you know what? We don't actually own a electric can opener. We don't like them. We just have the good old manual kind. Yep. And just to show you guys, this is how thick uh, condensed milk is. And it is really it condensed. Is. Lots of sugar in there. And that's what gives it that kind of yellowy, brownish color. I'm going to use it all. It doesn't actually look that appetizing, but you know what? If you just take a little bite of that, it's absolutely delicious. Okay. And guess what? Somebody just it, came both in. Both of them did. They think that uh, they think they're getting fed, but they're not. All right. So this, this. goes in with the yolks, the egg yep. yolks. It does, it does. That's what it says. Whisk the eggs and yolks in a large bowl until combined. Add sweetened condensed milk, evaporated milk, and whole milk, vanilla. i got to get the whole milk out in a minute. Baxter, you being said hello to. <laughs> you want me to get the whole milk? If you can, and do. No, we don't have whole milk. We just have. Well, the 2%. they say you can use two. They just said okay. don't use skim. We use two percent milk, so they said it was okay. Yeah, so really, don't use skim milk. Ideally, for this guys, you're gonna want to have some. Like she said, you're gonna want to have whole milk, but two percent works fine. But I would say yeah. nothing less than that. No, it right? said. I think it even said in there as long as you don't. You, you're all right as long as you're not using uh, skim milk. George Stewart gave us a $2 super chat for cleaning the membrane off the uh, egg. Oh, that was sweet. Thank yeah. you. My girlfriend got me into that last time I was there. She hates it. And I was like, okay, so I started doing that. <laughs> that is, yeah, that's kind of gross, right, actually. So this is the evaporated milk. And the evaporated milk is much thinner, so that puncture yeah, two I'm holes. Gonna... And right. use two holes because one is a breather. Right. About this mixer, is it? Yeah. It doesn't have a yeah, real a low speed. Oh, right. it's only, it's only, uh, yeah. doesn't say, add much taste. Tastes like heavy whipping cream, just not as heavy. And not sweet. Not sweet at all. Whoops. There's a lot of dairy in this, so if you guys are lactose intolerant, <laughs> like Leonard happen. from the Big Bang Theory, this is not the meal for <laughs> no, you, believe me. All right, so we need whole, wow, I can't have some whole milk. Let me see how much whole milk I need. 
Or I, in this I have, case, two percent. It, it says one half, <laughs> one half cup. Where is my one half? Here it is. Uh, here it is. I put the water in there. And by the vi, there's Baxter. Uh, they both came down thinking they were getting food, but they're not. And yet. my friend, who absolutely loves swan, is going away tonight. So she said, "Save me some," but I don't think I'll have any left by the time she comes. Unfortunately, so I'll have to remake it if it comes out really well. I love my pampered chef. Uh, liquid measuring cup because I love it because when I do peanut butter cookies if you do it the other way you can go like this mm -hmm. and you put the peanut butter in and then you pop it out isn't that or, cool or lard or you know whatever you yeah, need Crisco anything all right now let's see I think I have to do let's see with the egg yep, so we did that add sweetened condensed milk evaporated milk whole milk vanilla and I need two teaspoons of vanilla and I bought new vanilla today because I had a big one I bought at BJ's and it's probably about seven years old and I read online it doesn't go bad but I was a little leery I said I want this to taste good so I'm gonna buy new vanilla we were concerned yeah, so not better cheap be safe though than almost sorry. five dollars for this and do you guys know fun factoid real vanilla contains about 32 to 38 percent I'm not okay. kidding. Uh, that and, is. And another fact that was very interesting when uh, I was in Mexico with my sisters, we went to a botanical garden. I did not know that um, that it is uh, vanilla is in the same family as orchids. Really? Yes, we learned Okay, that. I didn't know I that never either. Knew that. I never knew that. All right, so that's the vanilla. Let's see what else I have here. Let's see. It says bourbon. I'm not doing bourbon. I'm sorry. Half a teaspoon of salt. Scott wants to know what the caramel flan is, so I'm going to go ahead and show him this real quick. Sure. This is what it's going to look like when it's done. It's basically a, um, a Mexican or Spanish a custard. custard. Okay. That's what it's supposed to look like when it's done. We'll have to see what happens. <laughs> yeah, let's hope mine comes out and doesn't break, but it, it still tastes good. Look who's on the table. Uh oh, no. Yeah, he knew, he knew we did something, didn't he? Yes. A little stinker. All right, let me just double check and make sure I have everything in it. Let's see. So we put the salt, we put the extract, the whole milk, evaporated, sweetened, condensed, the two large eggs plus the five yolks, and, well, the two-thirds cup of sugar was for the top. So Yes. So we're good with that. All right, with eggs and until the corporate strain the mixture through a fine mesh strainer into a large bowl to remove any bits of egg that and pour the strained custard in the loaf pan. So I don't think there's bits, but I'll do I'll do what they said because we want this to come out well. All right. You think so it's gonna fit in here? You let think me all see. That will fit in this one? Yeah, it'll be close, but I think it will. So we're gonna strain this, there making sure be, we get all the bits. There might out. be bits of egg in there. They may they may be. I don't know. Uh, yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah. It'll, it'll uh, let's see if there's bits of eggs. It's very possible. I've never done this before. We'll find out. You can this see. Little, uh, here, I'm, I'm, I'm like my mom. My mom, when she cooked the dinner, oh, yeah. she had to get every little bit of everything out. But take a look. You oh, can see oh, the bits yeah, of eggs. Oh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Here we go. Hold on. There we go. Okay. And there are definitely yeah. little bits of yeah. eggs in the bottom there. You can see it. I would have never the thought of that. yellow pieces. Yeah. I wouldn't I would either. But you got to remember, there's thicker parts of eggs. So, right. I, yeah, I could definitely see that. Right. It's really not that bad. I mean, I don't know why I've never tried this before, but I, I'm going to do it over here because I don't want to um, put the hot, I don't want that still mm -hmm. hot over there. So it says to strain the mixture, which we did, remove any bits of egg, then pour the strained custard in a loaf pan over the caramel. Cover the loaf pan tightly with aluminum foil. Place the loaf pan in the center of a nine by 13 inch baking dish or roasting pan. Wow, I didn't see that we part. Have, we have, we yeah, have. Yeah, I didn't see that part. So wow, I didn't pour read it that in. part. Caramel on the bottom, the flan mixture on top. Here we go. Need my thing again. <laughs> uh oh, yeah, she gotta get every little bit <laughs> out. Get every, every little, little bit. bit. It tastes so good, I wanna get it all out. Oh, so you do it like in a um in a water bag. Yeah. I see, I didn't read all the way through to see that. <gasps> what are you doing? I know. You right? are such a suck up. You are so a So hold on just a minute. It's going to make a little bit of noise, guys. I'm sorry, but. Yes, it's okay. Good boy. Okay. Got to have your so, daily dose of cat. Place cats. the loaf instead of a 9 by 30 inch baking or roasting pan, preferably with high sides. To make a water bath, place the nested pans in the oven 
Then using a tea kettle or pitcher, pour hot water around the loaf pan until it reaches about halfway up the sides. We gotta get. It's gotta hot be water. an ice bath. We gotta get hot water. How much hot water? Uh, till it goes halfway up. Okay, so um, there's probably a couple ways we could do that. I'm thinking maybe just microwave. Or you want to run it through the, run it through the um. The Keurig. Keurig That's way. another thing we can do. I don't know. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the Keurig on. And I'm going to go ahead and run hot water through this. And before anybody asks, you can run hot liquid through this. It's not going to hurt it. Scott Keerly. Oh, we got some, uh, looks like dry, washer and dryer talk. All right, so mom is feeding the cat. Oh, he's not eating it. Baxter, oh know. yeah, he is. Oh, oh, oh no, he's not eating that. Oh, okay. oh yeah. Stop for a minute. <laughs> Stop Back for a minute. Baxter, there oh, we here's go. My, here, my mind here. I didn't see you. Come here, come here, baby. You still be here. Yeah, yeah, that's yours. And I guarantee he won't touch it. And nope, I guarantee never does. You know what's gonna happen? Baxter is gonna come back. Oh wait a minute, no, no. He likes the other ones better. He he doesn't like any treats. He likes people food. That's the big problem. I thought he liked the, I thought he liked the whisker lickens. Rarely. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Here. My bastard. Here. Here. Look. Right there. Right there. Look. Right there. Got it. Got it. He likes, this one likes the whisker lickens. Oh, my goodness. All right, tubers. Back to the cooking. So you guys might not have seen this. I actually bought this cure egg. I don't know, a few months back, and mom liked the reddish color. Got this from a Goodwill for, uh, oh my goodness, four or five dollars on sale. So, what I'm going to do, actually, before I do that, um, it's not going to touch the mixture, is it? The water? No, it's going to go inside, okay. but don't do it until I hold on. Just let me hold well, it's going to take a few minutes yeah. to get oh, okay. it all. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and dispense it. Now, because I use this for coffee, you're probably going to see some brown stuff come out. Yeah, but that's fine because it's, it's not actually going to touch, touch it. It's not going to touch. Oh, look at this! He went over and stole his. Of course. Isn't he a stinky? But I'm telling you, the Keurig is very, very handy for jobs like this. If you don't want to have to boil water on the stove or something, no. you can literally just boil it right there. Eight ounces at a time, though, but at least it's something. The eleven watcher, seven likes. I'm thinking we may have to do this in, in two live streams because it's going to take a while, it right? It has to set overnight, so we won't be able to try it till tomorrow. So we'll have to show you how we take it out tomorrow. And I'll either do a vlog or we'll figure something out right, so you guys right. can actually see the finished right. product. And see us go, mm, this is delicious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, definitely. I hope. <laughs> All right. They look everybody. like the best. I saw some online but it, it, it some of them call for cream cheese which i thought was really weird yeah that sounds strange for flan yeah so when I you were like, saying that I buy those two i said nope i don't want that for sure all right so gotta keep doing this this is gonna take uh, a few minutes I oh no okay I did not know that. My old Keurig that looked just like this could only brew 8 ounces of water. Apparently this one could do it 10 ounces at a time. Wow. Because I literally do not use this for anything but coffee. I don't brew tea or anything. If I have tea, it's usually out at a restaurant. Let me turn this around here. Got a lot of talk about uh, appliances for some reason. Not for me, anyway. <laughs> Oh, you're asking about our dishwasher? Our dishwasher is a Whirlpool. Oh. Fun fact, that is the one appliance that's original to this house. The stove, the refrigerator, the microwave, everything else has been replaced. But right. this good old dishwasher here, um, and I'll show it to you real quick. And you quick, can see it's not, it's not stainless steel, but it's like, you know, I can't get rid of it. It works absolutely fine. We use it probably every other day. Oh, yeah. Um, it's got a little bit of yellowing like up here, but other than that, it works fine. This is from 1998, so this is 20, almost 22 years old now. 
Yeah, and again, it was it was builder's graded. It was actually came with the house. It's nothing fancy. It's not yeah. digital or anything. I think they might have paid upgraded. I'm not. I don't remember. It's been so. It's been over. It's been twenty years. So I, we might have upgraded a little, but not I don't know not if by we a did lot. Did or not? Yes. I don't think we did because if Probably I remember not. correctly, back when we had these options, uh -huh. um, the upgrade would have given you the digital panel, oh, and this may, one doesn't have a, the yeah, digital maybe panel. That, maybe that, I'm sure that's true. But um, yeah, works just fine. How much more hot? Water do you I think don't we know. Need? Can I pour it in and see? Yeah, go ahead. Let me pour, pour it, in. it in and see how much more we need. It says halfway. One Can more. One, one, one more, more should do it. Yeah. I agree with you. That's nice that you could take that off and do that. Yeah, you? I mean, it's really, really cool. It works just fine. Look at Mr. Beggar over there. You had enough. He ate Milo's. And he's awesome. Stephen Barber is a simplex oh. fire alarm tech. I don't know a lot about fire alarms. I know I've shown you guys a few of them when I've done vlogs, but I know little to nothing about them. Look at this. I, I cannot know. believe how much of a, a suck up he is. Being such a pig. Baxter. Well, you know what? In fairness, in all fairness, it's usually about the time we feed him, so. Gonna have to do that when we're done. Yeah. You want some food? Robert Jones says, Matt, I use the cure I get my bank. The coffee is free there. That's good. Free is always good. 70, well, thank you, Scott. Baxter's such a sweet cat when he wants to be. He just doesn't always want to be. So I'm going to pour that in. And we're saying about halfway, and I'm being very careful not to get any in the actual pan. Uh, we might need to do one more. I think we need to do one more. It's hard to tell because it's do me a favor, get me the um, Brita pitcher over there. Sure. Because I need to fill this up before I do anything else. This is actually pretty good. Yeah, she can't. It's really hard. You want to do you, it? Can you turn it? So Here, I'll do it. it. I got it. I you got, got it? it? Yeah. Pour it straight. Ooh. Straight or you're going to make a mess. There we go. Good. Just got to lift good. it. That's good. That's fine. It's very hard. It's not you, Mom. It's very hard I to pour it in here. And believe it or not, this is actually quadruple filter because the Brita pitcher itself has a triple stage filter, and the Keurig I have a single charcoal filter in this. So literally, what you're getting in here is four out of here is four stage filtered water, and that's actually good because believe it or not, the Keurig suffer from lime scale buildup, and that's what usually makes them fail. Mm. I like my red. <laughs> Lazy Fish Keeper, Matt, my wife makes a 20-cup pot, and she will drink it all. She's a hardcore coffee drinker. Wow. I don't think I'm that hard. I probably have the equivalent of four cups a day. And I'm less than you. You're none. <laughs> She's none. Okay, Mom has kidding. never drank coffee never drank at coffee. all. Okay. Can I get all right. Let's see okay, if this is see. enough to fill it up here. I think that's about. I think that's do halfway. It. I definitely think that, that's. Half. What do you guys think? You think that's about yeah, halfway? Yeah, I think that, that's definitely halfway. I can see. That. I would say that's about all halfway. All right, let's see if I can get in without spilling it all over the place, guys. Uh -oh. Let's see. Oh boy. Okay. Ooh. You're not getting it in the fawn and not burning myself. <laughs> all know. right, oh. so it's going in. You got it. And then it's, it's the seventy-five oven. minutes. So. Seventy-five minutes. Is that good? Yep. At 75 to 90, but I'm going to check it at 75. Okay. And I'll tell you what it says. It says 75 to 90 minutes until the cusp is set around the edges, but it's still a bit jiggly in the center. Don't worry that it seems undercooked. Let's see. Uh, the custard will continue to cook as it cools, and the center okay. will set completely. I promise it says. <laughs> okay. And then we got to carefully remove the paint from the air and remove the... Oh, foil. I forgot to put foil on it. Oh, ah, no. That see, won't be I good. Good thing I read it. Good thing I read it. <laughs> I left something out. <laughs> Whoa, that would have been good. I'm glad I went back and read it for sure. So now you got to put the foil on there. I know. I might have to take it out again. I don't know if I can... I think I'm going to have to take it out. I can't. I can't. Uh-oh. I wonder if I can take just the center out and then put it in, stick it back in. I think that's what I'm going to do. It's too hard to take the water out. 
I'm gonna get a little water on here, but it's too hard to do the other. Let me stick. I don't want the oven to. Go oh ahead. boy. So probably what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna end the live stream here because after this, literally, it's just letting it set. Correct. Yeah, it's cooking. It's taking it out, and then we have to. Uh, I have to read on. I think we have to. Uh, I don't know if it sets. I assume it sets in there and cools off yeah. before you are able to take it out. I. I, I assume. Ooh, okay. Here. So again, I am going to end it here. What I'm going to do is I am going to put. Oh, no, I don't. What I'm going to do is go ahead. Dang, why is it doing that? No. Can't. All right. I'm going to end it here. What I'm going to do is put some pictures up on my Instagram feed for you guys. And possibly do another live stream tomorrow. But trust me, you guys will definitely get to see the finished product. Okay, after it, it, it so after after it, it cooks, you remove the loaf pan from the water bath and you wipe the pan dry, cover it tightly with plastic wrap, and you have to chill it overnight. And that's or it, up right? to four days, yeah. But at least overnight. And then it tells you how to unmold it, which that, we can do the unmolding. What do you think? Have another live stream when we unmold? Yeah, it? let's okay, do that. Let's do that, and we'll continue it. All right, tubers, we're going to end this. Thanks for st 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 stopping by. <laughs> Please continue to like and subscribe. And as always, have, have a blessed, blessed day, day everybody. everybody.